Okay, so we have learned how to create a project and run the server, how to create a basic app. Now I want to show you how to set up the database for this application. So what I want to introduce now is models.py, which is inside our Europe application, and it's empty for now. And Django by default says create your models here. So if we want to create a model that represents a Euro trip from one European country to the other, we might define a class, um, let's call it trip. So let's create a class, we'll call that trip inside here, uh, the settings models dot model. So we need an origin country, we need a destination, we need the number of nights and we need the price for that trip. So we'll need an origin country and this will be equal to models dot character field with a maximum length of 64 characters. And we want a destination country. So it's exactly the same. We'll just change the name of the variable. And we want the number of nights. So um, models dot integer field, because it's not a character, it's rather an integer. And we can say the same thing on price. Okay, so we have created our class trip which will serve the purpose of being a blueprint to our database. So we don't have to worry about creating table or adding some uh, records or updating them or dropping any of these records because Django will take care of all of that. And as your application starts to get bigger in size as a result of lots of interactions with the clients, for instance, you probably want to add changes to your code. Um, classes, for instance, or any other area of your application. Therefore, the databases should also be changed as a natural reflection to that. It would be quite tedious if every time you change something in your code, you have to reflect these changes in your database files manually. And this is the role of migrations right here, which has only one file called init.py and currently it's empty. Okay, so migrations will take care of all what we have discussed previously. It detects automatically what are the changes that were made in your file and reflect these changes in your database. And how to do that? Actually, before I show you that, there is one more configuration step that we need to do in settings.py. So inside our installed apps variable right here, we need to add in the first line, we will add the name of the application, which is Europe inside a string. So Europe.apps.Europe config so we will type europe config with a capital c like that and the logic behind this actually is inside our europe application there is a file called apps.py and this simply has one class called europe config and it has one parameter which is app config with the name of europe the main name of the application and Django does that just to say that I'm aware of your application and the name of this application is Europe. Just the most important thing is that in settings and installed apps, we need to insert this line right here. The name of the application dot apps dot Europe config. You might just put Europe, the E capital like that. I will just open my bash terminal. I'm inside the folder. I will need to enter world tour. Then in your terminal, go ahead and type this with me. So we'll type Python manage.py followed by a command called make migrations, make migrations. And what this command does actually that it looks to models.py and it looks to any changes that might happen or happened in that file and automatically will make migrations. In other words, reflecting the changes in your database. So as you can see inside Europe folder, inside migrations folder, Django has created this file right here, triple zero one underscore initial dot pi. This file right here. So it has a class of migration with the dependencies and this is basically the code that we have written inside our models. Okay, so we have origin, destination, nights, and price, and the same thing here. So these are the fields, right? 
and notice that uh, Django has created ID for us. I didn't create ID in the models, but Django has created ID. So each time we will add a record, this will be auto incremented. So the first trip will have an ID of one. The second trip automatically will have an ID of two and so on. Origin models dot character field maximum 64 and the rest of the code that we have written in models dot py. But let me actually show you what's inside that triple zero one underscore initial uh, dot py file. So still inside my world tour folder, I will type python manage dot py sql migrate and the name of the app followed by triple zero one. Okay, take a look at that. So we have here begin, create model trip. And this is very similar to our SQL light code that we have seen in our SQL light three course. So it starts by creating model trip. So to create a database, then we create a table called euro underscore trip with an ID. It's an integer, not null, which means that it shouldn't be empty primary key, which means this is a primary key via which I can relate to other tables or to increment, which means that it will be incremented automatically. I don't have to add each time uh, an ID for the record. Then origin varchar 64 not null nights integer not null price integer not null. Then followed by commit, which means save or commit to these changes and I'm done. And origin and destination, destination should be here. I think it was, it's not well presented in, um, in bash. So let me actually show it to you here in the terminal. And I'll just, we'll make this bigger. So again, let's get inside our world tour and we'll type Python manage.py SQL migrate Europe triple zero one. Okay, so it's clear here. As we said, the ID, the origin, we have destination here. It was cut here for some reason. I'm sorry for that. Um, we have nights, which is integer, not null, price, integer, and not null. So this is SQL code that I didn't have to write. It was generated for me by Django's migration system. Just simply by looking in what I said I wanted uh, in my database right here in the models right and Django did that for me so now I want to apply the migration to the database till now we didn't apply uh, the migration so we want to create the table inside the database basically this is what we want to do so the database will be called trip as you can see below here and uh, the table will be called Europe trip this is the name that Django has given to my table and it will have the attributes that we have set here. Okay, so how we're going to do that? Well, let me just maximize um, the terminal. So what we'll need to type is python manage.py migrate. Hit enter. Fantastic. What that did that it has applied all the migrations as you can see here, applying content types, auth, admin, 01, 02, 03, and so on, okay? So it has applied all the migrations and even the last one applied that was created to us, 0001 underscore initial. And now my database will have a table that represent the trips via this Europe application. Okay, so this concludes the video. The next video, we are going to see how we can uh, work with the shell and how we can add trips to our database. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.